Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Wednesday, the 10th of the March 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex calendar and see what is going on on the financial markets. As you can see, uh, we got important data from China released already. The CPI uh, index uh, for the month of the February was better than expected because it was at minus 0.2 percent, while the forecast was uh, minus 0.3 uh, percent. So uh, that's a slightly better uh, reading. The producer price index from China was better than expected as well, 1.7 percent versus 1.5 uh, percent expected. So there is some indication of a rising inflation in in uh, China no data during the London session today expect the industrial production from uh, from France as you can see better than expected way better than expected 3.3 percent versus the half percent forecast the key event uh, of today is uh, the overnight rate and the Bank of Canada rate statement at 4 o'clock p.m. during the New York session and the other um, key event is the consumer price index data scheduled for release half past two and of course this data is from the US. Um, crude oil inventories half past four for all of you crude oil traders I uh, will be released today and and basically that's it that's everything for uh, for today's calendar so we, we should definitely take a look on the US dollar to the Canadian dollar pair. So let me just uh, switch to the charts as you can see this is US dollar to the Canadian dollar uh, daily time frame chart what do we have here let me just uh, zoom in a little bit and uh, as you can see for the last week we've been just um, trade, we've been trading inside of the consolidation zone right the technical support was on 1.2591 is still valid mm. The, the resistance was uh, at 1.2748, the high of the wave A. As you can see, it's still valid. The market uh, keeps trading up and down, up and down, waiting for the trigger to continue the move up. Why do we think that this market will go up? Because, mainly because this is the very nice bounce in the wave A. This is the typical consolidation in the wave B. It might be even some sort of a, let's say, a kind of a triangle, kind of a, kind of a, f maybe some some sort of the skewed um, uh, pattern like uh, like a pennant uh, pattern. It looks like this for now. Okay, so it might be it might be like a triangle or something like that so what do we know about the triangles it usually breaks in the in the direction of the previous trend the previous local trend two days long was up consolidation triangle and continue uh, move continuation to the uh, to the upside target 1.2864 and that's the target for the wave c of course uh, uh, the other target is 1.28 uh, 80 so this is a very uh, very narrow zone uh, for the wave C and then we will uh, we will of course uh, analyze the situation again once the the level is uh, is clearly hit so maybe the market participants await for the trigger to go up uh, so if the uh, if the if the level of uh, 1.2782 is violated and the trend line here uh, is violated as well we can go up and uh, continue with the wave wave C to the upside. The other market I would like to uh, point out today is the US dollar Japanese yen. Um, uh, why? Because the data from the inflation uh, f uh, from the US, of course. As you can see, we are uh, following this impulsive uh, count. Uh, it looks like we are. Uh, trending uh, up towards the level of 1.988. Uh, this is the top for the wave, wave, uh, wave three. So what do we need is some sort of the consolidation uh, here, and then of course um, some sort of a bounce towards 1.9 and uh, 88. That's the top for the wave, uh, for the wave three. And uh, so far it looks very well. Let me just uh, adjust the 
the chart there you go um it looks very well uh we just have one red candle so far here one red candle here so uh, the market is continuing mm, the up move after the wave three is completed we expect wave four of a higher uh, higher degree and then of course wave five of a higher degree please notice the market is right now in the level of 80 points on the rsi uh, indicator momentum indicator and this means the market is right now extremely overbought which means uh, again the the sentiment is of course uh, very positive uh, very uh, the, the the bulls are in the in control of the market but the prices are already expensive so we should ex expect some sort of the consolidation maybe some sort of of uh, uh, you pull back or something like this but anyway if 1.29 uh, 109.25 is violated then the next target is 109.88 anyway so that won't stop the bulls from going uh, going up um how the stocks can react on the on the data let's take a look at the s p 500 american stocks as you can see what we have here a breakout we have a breakout below the 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 channel right but please notice we didn't close in the lows we close higher than the breakout level the breakout level is around let's say okay 3766 that's the that's the breakout level below the uh, uh below the channel out of the channel right so we have a nice bounce we are back towards the level of 3867 again we broke above it so still this channel is valid despite this this breakout here there is no close uh below the level uh, of uh, for example 3715 that would be definitely completely different thing that would be a game changer for um, uh, for the bulls we might even expect a deeper deeper pullback but so far it didn't happen we have this nice correction apparently let me just um take a look at this at this correction how much have we have we done on the s p 500 i'm just looking at the price not the time so that's about 5.92 percent down we were so that's the biggest correction inside of all of this uh, during all of this uh, moves up uh from the last year november yeah november the 10th last year so that's interesting to keep an eye uh on because if it's so big uh, that means maybe the up cycle the up wave uh the trend up in the near term had been completed and this was the overbalance at least the price overbalance let's see how the market will react on the um, on, on, for this situation any breakout above 3952 will likely uh, ends up with a new high above 3957 so uh, very interesting situation on the S&P 500. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones. And the Dow Jones as well went down, but it it wasn't that the dramatic, let's say, because we got clearly A, B, C wave to the downside, and then we even made a new higher uh, higher high. So let me just point out that this is. Um, this is new higher high there you go 32,143 points so that's our that's our new reference point it's still in the, roughly in the boundary of the of the channel as you can see we we went down towards the level of the low is 30,543 so around around here was the low just above the lower channel boundary and overall the um the correction was i'm just wondering if it would be more than five percent no 4.69 i look at this this is 465 this is 469 almost one to one typical correction inside of the rising market inside of the trend so uh the trend is still up we have a correction but it's it's it doesn't 
doesn't matter anymore we have a new high what can be bothering right now is this candle here which is um, uh, like a kind of a shooting star candle or even a dodgy candle it might might it might be a dodgy candle because there is no down week uh, here so uh, so far the rally was capped but as long as we trade um, above the 31,661 there is still a chance to resume the up move on the Dow Jones industrial and the up uh, the uptrend is still is still valid is still intact and we should expect rather rather uh, increased bullish uh, activity on the industrial uh, Dow Jones industrial average uh, index so that's everything for me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and I hope I see you guys next time Bye-bye.